So Avatar Frontiers of Pandora has been recently released and if you thought that this was the actual FSR 3 as you see this in the frame time, well, you're wrong. It seems that some people were actually right and FSR 3 was not, uh, well, was not finished. And now we finally have the real FSR 3 frame generation on Avatar Frontiers of Pandora and I already tested so far. I updated everything and you might think that it, it is due to the new drivers and hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, but it isn't. Okay, I tested the, the frame generation without the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and it is the same. Okay, it, it works the same way, uh, it works fine, no issues whatsoever, um, the, the performance and let's say the quality is exactly the same, so it is not once again, it is not because uh, of that. And by the way, I just want to thank AMD for sending me a code for Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Uh, people were actually asking me to test the game and to test the FSR 3 implementation. And well, I was gonna buy the game, but it seems that AMD actually went ahead and sent me the code, which is a win-win situation. But once again, thanks AMD. And just because of that, I'm gonna leave you with today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG More bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. As for the settings for this video, I'll be recording in 1440p ultra wide, so 21 per 9 aspect ratio. Uh, and we're using the temporal upscaler, we're using the, the FSR3. And I don't really know if the upscaler itself, so without the frame generation, I don't know if the upscaler itself was actually improved or not. It seems quite better than the FSR 2.1 at least, and quite better than the 2.2, but without a side by side comparison of both, I can't really tell, and since this game just as the, the FSR 3, it is hard to say. But at least the frame generation is here, as you can see. Um, and as for the scaling quality, we have quality mode, of course, and then the fixed, since the, we have several scaling modes of off, of course, no upscaling. And then we have the biased, which is basically upscaling is based on the fixed render resolution, but in addition, biases it towards a 4K output resolution. And that's not that's not what we want. We, we want the fixed one, which is basically um, upscaling is based on a fixed rendering resolution, which is the normal upscaling, to the native output resolution. That's what we want. As for the graphic settings, we have everything at maximum, ultra, 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 not this because this off is actually better, the shadow proxies, but everything else is at maximum besides the object detail, of course. So in terms of gameplay and in terms of FPS, for example, on this part we're having 65, 67, 68, because this game is actually very heavy, so even looking even looking at this, we have like 80 FPS um, and it is actually quite normal. We, we're also recording, of course, so we have a little less FPS, but it is actually quite normal as this game is very, very heavy uh, because it uses software ray tracing, which is also known, for example, on Unreal Engine games, it is also known as Lumen. Um, and that's why this game is really, really heavy because it uses it all the time. You can't disable the, the ray tracing, you just can't. Even if it isn't hardware ray tracing, you can't disable it, it will be always enabled in options like, let's say, options like the sun contact shadows, as you can see. Select the level of quality of contact shadows from the sun done by ray tracing, and you can't simply disable it. Well, you can disable it, of course, but um, any option that you use on, even the low settings are using ray tracing, medium settings use ray tracing, and so does, so do the high settings. The same for the specular reflect reflections, actually, yes, select the quality of specular reflections such as wet or liquid surfaces done by ray tracing, and it is exactly the same. We can put it very low, we can disable it, but it will always use ray tracing, okay? That's why the game is so heavy. Now, as we can see, uh, we're running FSR only, and we're running 77 FPS here, for example, in this scenario. Well, the game is... Well, it's normal for 77 FPS. Oh, come on. I have to take off the vibration, sorry about this. Well, it looks as good as 75 FPS would. Nothing really new, actually. Just... Well, it is what it is, I guess. 75 frames. 
Let us see what we get here. Okay, search. Spare parts. But well, 80, something like that. 80, 82. Now, one thing that I found with this game is that uh, as soon as I try to activate frame generation, I'll get a bug. The, the game will just bug, give me some error, and I won't be able to, to use the frame generation until I disable MS Afterburner. So I actually have to go here, disable MS Afterburner. Once again, I'm here, enable the frame generation, apply settings, keep, no errors now, then go back and enable MS Afterburner once again. And as you can see, we have 100, we went from 75, 80 FPS to 160, 165, depending on where I'm looking at. And I can immediately see that the image looks much sharper. I can also tell you that right away, of course, that we can see some, uh, we can see some, some movement artifacts, of course, from the frame generation. So the frames generated are not uh, as great as they should, but still, if you look at the frame timeline, there's already things that we can see. For example, on the previous games with FSR 3 Beta, let's call it that, with FSR 3 Beta, uh, as soon as we looked at the frame times, the frame times would show crazy numbers with lots of spikes because of the fetch and catch. And we, we would have an insane uh, frame, time, uh, frame time graph, completely insane. And we needed... And I repeat, we needed FSR3 to be used with VSync because if you disabled VSync, you would have lots and lots of tearing. It wouldn't work with, with FreeSync. And now it does work with FreeSync, okay? I can see it immediately that it does work with FreeSync. Uh, it's just much, much better. For example, here, uh, I'm still inside the, um, the monitor's refresh rate, 140. And as you can, well, you can't see because you're not watching my monitor, but I can tell you right away that it is it is not using VSync and FreeSync is working as it should. So no tearing whatsoever. It's working fine. And the frame timeline is also insanely good uh, as it should from the beginning. Something that did not happen on the previous titles. And, and as you can see, 190 here, 160, 140. I can go, for example, and use because the, the 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 FSR3 in this game actually has the the ultra quality settings instead of just the quality settings so i might use it for example ultra quality settings so, like, I can't find what you need. maybe it's 1080p i guess and once again 125 and if we tried these uh, these numbers before so 120 or lower than this even with vsync we would have lots of tearing and lots of visual artifacts and it is just much but i repeat much better here it's not even comparable it's really much much better okay something there i believe i can kill them bam one Okay, bam, need to aim higher, bam, mine, you're done guys, and now we can actually grab some food I guess, okay, this is food I guess, I don't really know, uh, Okay, T food. How is it? How is it full? Well, I can tell you right away that FSR3 works much, much better here, and I can definitely play with FSR3 uh, without, I mean, without any issues. It is perfectly usable, unlike, for example, in Mortals of Avium uh, and um, Forspoken, if you didn't have Vsync on, and now with Vsync off, once again, I'm gonna show you. Vsync off, just for you to see once again. So, Vsync off, no no kinds of frame rate limits, just Vsync off, and it works wonderfully well. We still have some artifacts, of course. If we move there, I can actually notice some motion artifacts. Well, not in this part, but in here, I can notice some. But overall, it is very, very well done. Overall, very well done. Take in consideration that we're, we're actually generating frames from 60, 65 base frames to 120 something, 130. So it's a lot of, of generated frames. So there we can see some 
yeah, there we can see some some motion artifacts. But if we're just playing in some fast pacing games, it is perfectly fine and definitely feels much better than the 60 base frames. Definitely much better. If all games come to implement what we have here, I guess FSR 3 will just, in terms of frame generation at least, will just get better and better with time and it will be a delight to use. So guys, just to conclude, we went from this that you're seeing right now on the screen, basically uh, lots of frame time spikes which were supposed to be normal, but we now know that they aren't. Um, the need of using VSync in order to not have screen tearing, even if you were inside the, um, the range of your monitor, meaning that uh, the frame generation on FSR 3 on the previous generation on the, be on the beta version wouldn't work with FreeSync. So now it works with FreeSync. Now it is much better. It has less motion artifacts. Um, I mean, it is a win-win situation. Better frame times, less motion artifacts. It works with FreeSync. And it seems that the upscaling uh, is a bit better as well. So it's a win-win situation. We came from the beta versions on Immortals of Avium to an actual stable and usable version with Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. And I do hope that this version of FSR 3 or an even better one comes to Cyberpunk 2077 and some other games because one of the best things about the... Um, the frame generation on the AMD side is that you can use it in all cards. You can use it on Intel cards, you can use it on AMD cards, on even on older generations. And once again, you can use it um, on NVIDIA cards. So if you have an, an NVIDIA card that can't use frame generation, for example, the 3000 series and below, you can use the frame generation from AMD and that's a plus. Overall, I can tell you that this game looks very nice and FSR 3, once again, is very, very well implemented. You have my my blessing. Let's say that if you want to try this game, if you want to try FSR 3, you have my blessing. This game is very well done with a very well done FSR 3 implementation. And well, guys, that's all for today's video. Just wanted to tell you this. I know it's always hard to see because you can't really see, let's say that, uh, on video on YouTube. But what you can do is take my word because I experienced before, like I told you, I did several videos before of FSR 3 in testing Immortals of Avium and Forspoken. And I can tell you that this is a real FSR 3. The implementation is very well done. So once again, thank you for watching and see you in the next video, guys.